and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking our first look in about six months or so at recent uh, publications for paperback collectors, as well as online resources and uh, YouTube channels, which I think you should check out. Um, so we've got quite a bit to cover here, so I'm not going to dwell too long, but I'm going to show you what I've been looking at, what I've been reading, and then uh, I think you can just dive in and, uh, and explore what you'd like to. And I'm going to put links to all of this in the description down below, so feel free to use that as a little sort of uh, uh, hub there to just go off and uh, choose what you want to have a look at. So um, this is uh, based on, um, in actual fact, there's a great Facebook group uh, called The Men's Adventure uh, website and there's men's adventure paperbacks and then there's men's adventure magazines. Now this is uh, uh, by Bob Dice and White Dole and this is uh, one of their many publications. There's a few more on the back here and this is sort of fantastic short stories that were printed in the uh, the classic 50s and 60s men's adventure magazines in America and there's some absolutely fantastic stuff in here and uh, that's a really really great read so I recommend this one and then sort of in a similar vein this is uh, published by Tash and this one's been out quite a while now but it's actually in their budget uh, budget range and this is actually um, a compilation of some of the the great great artwork that uh, some of these uh, magazines sported and they are fantastic as you can see brilliant stuff here so uh, a whole a brilliant Facebook group just dedicated to men's adventure magazines uh, run by Bob and I do recommend that you go and check that one out so that's the first thing Next, we've got uh, the latest issue of Paperback Parade. Now, this is uh, published by uh, Gary Levisi over in the States, and uh, this is the very latest issue. Um, some great stuff in here. My particular highlight, there was, uh, it's got a look at um, some new hard case crime, a look at Robert Heinlein, certainly one of my favorite authors. But the main thing I absolutely loved was his article on sort of tiki related uh, paperbacks or the ones um, sort of set in the, uh, oh, here we are, this is it in actual fact. So some of these I've got myself, all this sort of um, the stuff on Easter Island, things like that, absolutely fantastic. Aku Aku, one of my uh, favourite vintage penguins, an absolutely brilliant read as well if you've never read it. Um, by Thor Heyerdahl. So um, a great issue. There's lots of other stuff in here as well. You can see it's uh, all full colour. It's just over 100 pages. There's the Robert Heinlein in paperback. There's that great early Dell 10 centre. So quite a lot in the latest issue of, um, of Paperback Parade. And uh, the new issue, which is coming up quite soon, um, has um, an article on Agatha Christie and Pan paperbacks, which I penned myself. So uh, do look out for that one. And do, of course, check out uh, Gary Lovisi's YouTube channel. Um, Gary's got a fantastic, fantastic vintage paperback collection and uh, one I think anyone would be uh, absolutely proud of. Um, while I'm talking of YouTube, there is, uh, you've probably heard of the classic author Michael Avalone. Uh, well, Michael's son, David, has launched a channel called Pulp Today um, and where there he talks about, you know, his um, his father's work. He, he wrote over 200 books, didn't he, for lots of TV and film uh, tie-ins. And uh, yeah, so do check out um, David Avalone's channel as well. Next then, we're on to the highly prolific um, Justin Marriott. Now, Justin is... Uh, publishing fanzines at well, an astonishing pace, shall we say, just recently. And uh, he's published loads of great stuff. So these are some of the more recent issues that I've managed to get my hands on. Um, so we've got issue eight here of The Sleazy Reader. Now, this is fantastic. It's got an issue on uh, sort of the, the, the cult killers and books around um, cults uh, in America. Absolutely brilliant. Very much ties in with the, uh, the stuff that was covered in the Tarantino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as well as some other stuff here as well. Some really, really great stuff, uh, fascinating articles. So uh, this was, uh, there was some good stuff in there, stuff I wasn't expecting to see, and uh, certainly a, gr a great read, that one. So it's the Sleazy Reader number eight. Then we've got um, uh, the latest issue of Paperback Fanatics. This is number 43 articles. Uh, this is the gold medal special, in fact. Now, this one has a lot of stuff from, uh, I think it's got some reviews from the Paperback Warrior podcast that they've been taken in, but they certainly show some of the very greatest um, uh, gold medal books here. And, you know, I was going through this literally making a list again of some of the great, great stuff um, that was uh, contained within. So I think you're going to absolutely love, if you're into the gold medal artwork, 
I think you're going to really, really love uh, this gold medal special. There's so much good stuff in there that uh, you'll want to track down. Um, before we get to that one, after that came the hot lead special. Absolutely fantastic. This is, uh, I've covered a separate review on this one, but I wanted to mention it again here. Um, it's a big old thick book. It's got um, over 200 reviews of classic Western paperbacks starting from the 19. 20s, late 20s, I believe, all the way up to today, um, in chronological order, so you can see exactly uh, what you're getting into. And there's bound to be stuff in here which will whet your appetite for future uh, future Western reading. So it's the Hot Lead Special, and in a similar vein, this one literally just published now is the Pulp Apocalypse Special, and uh, this is a look at um, uh, sort of, well, post-apocalyptic uh, survival survivalist fiction, and there's some great stuff in it, loads that I'd never heard of. Um, nice to see a lot of comic reviews as well. So once again, both of these are, are worth tracking down. I've got um, little articles or reviews in both of these um so yeah for that reason alone i think you should absolutely buy them <laughs> so yeah do check out justin's work he's got loads and loads of stuff coming out all the time so uh, they do come recommended next uh, once again i have covered this on the channel but i did want to just um uh have a look at it again and that is um the look at badger books now this one's by uh, shane uh, P. Agnew, and this is the first of a proposed three volume series looking at those classic uh, John Spencer uh, pulp publications and then leading into the uh, the Badger paperbacks, which I certainly love. Uh, this is a really, really great uh, piece of work. Fantastic if you're a collector. All the covers are reproduced in colour and it's certainly no mean feat. I mean, what a encyclopedic reference this is. So if you are at all interested in um, Badger books, I heartily recommend uh, you tracking down the first volume of this. Okay then, so this is the uh, issue 94 of the Penguin Collector, and this is the Penguin Collector's Society's magazine. Uh, this one comes out twice a year. Always a very nice high quality uh, magazine, and I was uh, pleased to see uh, a copy when this one drops through my letterbox, because um, it's always guaranteed a nice variety of uh, articles on vintage Penguin books. Um, certainly uh, this issue was no exception. Um, I was quite delighted to see um, uh, what had happened, I got quite lucky. I was going through some old penguins and um, I found a very early, I think it's the early 1940s uh, wartime order form. And there it is there. And I scanned a copy of it. Um, it's signed by uh, uh, managing director Alan Lane, creator of Penguin Books. And it sort of explains some of the books that are in short supply at that time, which was during the uh, the Blitz in the UK. So um, just a little uh, article there that was uh, uh, written by the editor. But a really nice, um, really nice piece there. I was very pleased to... Uh, to get my hands on that one. It's just pure fluke, which was uh, which was good. But yeah, uh, absolutely, if you are interested in Penguin Books, do of course uh, uh, join them. Now, uh, this is uh, The Hood of Gunman. So this is uh, a book on classic Collins crime hardbacks. Absolutely fantastic. I have already done um, an in-depth look at this one in a separate review on the channel. So um, I shall obviously link to that now. But it basically covers all the Collins crime hard books from the uh, 1920s up into the early 2000s when the series are pretty much wrapped up but um, certainly a very very good book so then just to do a little recap we've got that one we've got the john spencer book we've got all the stuff from justin marriott which is uh, obviously absolutely fantastic we've got the uh, youtube channels with uh, david avaloni and uh, gary lavisi now we mustn't forget um the so we've got our friends over at the Paperback Warrior, Tom and Eric. Uh, they do their regular Monday podcast, and it's definitely a highlight of my Monday morning. Absolutely love the uh, the Paperback Warrior, and also a new one that I've just started to be getting into. I mean, it's oh now, um, and this is from uh, Paul Bishop and Richard Prosh, and this is the Six Gun Justice uh, podcast. And it's obviously got a Western vibe to it, um, but don't let that put you off because there's all sorts of great stuff, including um, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, an in-depth interview with a uh, paperback publisher, Justin Marriott, which does absolutely come highly recommended. Um, obviously the two Facebook groups, Men's Adventure and Men's um, Adventure Magazines and Books, plus of course, um, uh, we've got uh, Tim over at the Pan Collector's website, which is also well worth your time. Um, always great stuff there, including his uh, his Monday morning blog, which has got latest sort of pan collection news. So there we go then. That makes up the last sort of six months of what's been quite a packed and busy 
time. Uh, if you're a vintage paperback fan and collector, um, there's so much happening, it seems, at the moment. We are certainly, uh, I feel, we're having a bit of a revival, in actual fact, in uh, people's love of vintage paperbacks uh, and books in general. Maybe that's something to do with the lockdown. Maybe we've all got a bit more time on our hands to do some reading. But do please uh, give these uh, publications your support. Um, do listen to the podcast. It does make a difference. And do support the YouTubers because, uh, once again, we're spreading the word about uh, vintage paperbacks. So that's it for today. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please give it that thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing to my channel for regular vintage paperback content. I've always got loads on here and I've got loads, loads more planned. So uh, hopefully there'll be something for everyone. And um, thank you for watching today. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon for some more vintage paperback action. Bye.